Hey everyone and welcome back to Hayes Kitchen. We've got a super simple dish for you today. We're going to be doing some spicy meatball spaghetti. We're actually going to be using Wagyu steak burgers. Now this type of recipe is ideal for things like post-workout, you've had a big gym day. This is sort of like your refeed type meal. Um, we've got some whole wheat spaghetti, we've got a pan up to heat on a rolling boil. We're just going to salt that water slightly, we're going to pop that in, sprinkle that around, just wait for that to start to reduce down slightly. Meanwhile we're going to get this pan up to heat. So into a pan, I've just finely sliced some chorizo. Now, the things like chorizo, they're a heavy fat content, so you don't need to add any oil in there at all. We're just gonna let that literally just sweat down and release some of its flavors. Straight away, you've got that paprika sort of smell coming through there, and it's such a beautiful tart flavor. So once you've got that and the oil's just released, you've got that oranginess, we're gonna go in with our meatballs. So it's a beautiful sort of natural flavor that you've got in the sausage. So there's no point in whacking a load of other fats in there as well. Plus you've got the fat from the meatballs that's naturally going to render out of there. A lower heat, let the fat render, gives you a juicier ball. Now with things like the balls, you don't want to over brown them, you just want to cook them lightly on a low heat. So that when we add our sauce element, the sauce will come through the meatball and cook that last little section. They're good to go with our spices. So in here, we have got, because I like my spice a little bit of heat, we've got a little bit of chilli sauce. We've got one and a half cloves of crushed garlic. We've got a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And then finally, a little bit of our sun-dried tomato paste. About a half a teaspoon is all you need. Give those all a good coat. And then we're gonna go in with our sun-dried tomatoes. So I've literally just got the ones which you can get in a jar, chop them up finely, and they can just be tipped straight in. Now you've got a lovely little char on there. You see how crispy that chorizo has gone. We're gonna go in with around a tin of chopped tomatoes. Little stir around, making sure those balls are all turned around. Sorry I'm using the word balls so often. If you find that sticking it up too quickly, you can just go in with some of your starchy water from your pasta, and it's gonna thin off that sauce slightly and start to render back down again and thicken up. So that's been on there about seven or eight minutes, pretty much cooked all the way through. Our pasta's done, so we're just gonna add that to it. So just drain that off. It doesn't matter about the water going in there, you want a little bit of that water just to thin down that sauce slightly because it's rendered down. Just lightly stir that pasta into that sauce. The good thing about these type dishes is it's a proper hearty type meal, so you know you're gonna feel really good and full, but it's also healthy. So if you think about that for your lunch alternative for the next day, get yourself a little Tupperware tub, put the rest in there, got it for lunch the next day at work. I'm gonna serve this up more like a sharing sort of plate version. Some of our chorizo, and a few of our pools, just around the outside. So we've got a little bit of a parmesan, just over the top. Just a little scattering of our basil leaves around the outside. So there we go, that is my 15 to 20 minutes, super simple, spicy meatball spaghetti. Now if you recreate this one, which hopefully you do, hashtag me at Taste Kitchen as always, please subscribe, tell everyone about the channel, and I'll see you next week. Cheers then, bye bye.